very quiet here now. They say the early bird gets the worm. 622, here we go. In this case, Dan Lockenbrook might be the most chipper bird on the block. Okay. Once a week as the sun makes its way up, he hops behind the wheel of a van. Let's go. Picking up food that is considered surplus food. According to ReFed, a nonprofit dedicated to ending food loss, surplus food is typically a result of high customer standards for freshness and date label concerns. That'd make all the difference in the world right there. Instead of going Thanks. to waste, it's going to feed a lot of hungry people. I can't stand wasting food. Yeah. I can't stand wasting food. This is all part of volunteering with Feeding San Diego. The van goes from grocery stores straight to food pantries, bringing fresh food to people who can't always afford it. That's a lot of food. This retired firefighter has been filling his time this way for close to a year now. Where did that passion for hating to waste food come from? Oh, well, I, I, I've been in a position for that where I was a hungry person and you know, decades ago. Just following along for a single shift. There she is. It's clear Dan has gotten used to seeing the people at the pantries each week. <laughs> but what he hasn't gotten used to. Just a volume of perfectly good food that otherwise would go in the dumpster. At the first food pantry drop off alone, more than 200 pounds of food. 17. Every Tuesday, Dan makes eight stops, but that's right. just a drop in the bucket compared to the bigger picture. Feeding San Diego rescued food from more than 770 places throughout the county last year, preventing more than 31 million pounds of food from ending up in a landfill. 97. We get to almost kind of play the role of Santa Claus sometimes because we're giving them a gift. Maria Haig is the community resource coordinator at Grace Presbyterian Church. Every week, they hand out groceries to about 100 families. We look forward to, to seeing them every time they come. We always have new faces that come. They word of mouth or they tap into Feeding San Diego and they find out that we're here. Let's do that. Every pound Dan picks up puts a smile on his face. People look at the date and they say, oh, I can't buy this. It's going to go bad in two days. Ends up in the back of the van. That one weighs a lot. It's a load he is happy to carry if it's it means making a well. hefty difference. I just want everybody to uh, do something. You don't have to do a lot, but do something. Do you want this? Natalie Chuck. Yeah, you do. ABC 10 News.